Welcome back to the shop, everybody. Today we are going to do a review on a table saw blade. This right here is the Kling Spore rip and cross cut combination blade. In this review, we are going to do some comparison cuts and compare this blade with the Forest Woodworker 2 and the Freud Industrial Rip Blade. These are the two blades that I use most in the shop, so if I can find a way, you know, to leave one blade in the table saw, I'm all about it. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, hammer that like button, and if you think I deserve it, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. Enjoy. Let's go over the features of this blade. It's made out of high quality German steel. This thing is built like a tank. Thick, high quality carbide teeth. The carbide teeth are lined up in sets of five and are in a four plus one grind configuration. The first four teeth are ATB grind at a 15 degree angle to score and hog out the meat of the material. The fifth is a flat top raker tooth that you would find in the chippers of a data set. The fifth tooth basically clears out all the sawdust left after the gullet passes through. There are 10 sets of this configuration on this blade. The gullets between each blade are very deep, which allows efficient chip clearance, making this blade exceptional for ripping. This blade's also very affordable at $62 compared to $170 for the higher end blades. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Well, it's really not a box. It's more like a rugged cardboard sleeve. It's kind of like a record, or it's kind of like what records used to come in back in the day. But it's well packaged and well protected. The Freud and the Forest blades are the blades that I use the most in the shop. I'm going to take each blade and rip a thin strip off of a maple turning blank. And then I'm going to compare the smoothest of cut and see if there's any burning present. I'm basically testing the combo blade to see if it can replace the rip blade and the forest blade. Just because I basically hate changing blades and if I can find something that's more efficient in the shop, I'm all about that. All right, as a warning, don't try this cut at home. It's very dangerous. I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes. If you want to cut thin strips like this, I would suggest using a thin strip jig. I'm going to label each strip so I don't get them confused. All right, so for testing purposes, I'm first going to test the smoothness of the cut and then see if burning is present. And I'm going to write on each strip my findings. So for the forest blade, the finish cut is smooth as glass and there's no burning. But the downfall of this blade, it's $170 and it's very expensive. Yeah, I forgot to record me writing this, but well, you can see right there. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so for the combination blade from Clean Spore, it does have a very smooth cut, but it's not glass smooth like the Forest, and there is absolutely no burning. But the kicker for this blade, it's only $62. Next, I'm gonna break out the Nick Ferry Crosscut Sled. Uh, yeah, there's some pieces missing off of this because I harvested it for other projects. Don't judge me. Anyway, I'm gonna cross cut a thick four quarter piece of red oak for the next set of tests. If you wanna build this cross cut sled, click on my card to go see Nick's video. He also has plans available for it too. I'll also put a link for it in the description below. Okay, for the cross cut test, I am going to test for smoothest of cut and tear out. Now, for these two blades, I cannot see a single difference in the cut quality. Both cuts are smooth as glass. There's absolutely no tear out and there's absolutely no burning. Since I don't like uh, changing out blades, we are going to use the blade and we're gonna notch out the data. Normally when you make this cut with a regular ATB blade, the top of the cut's gonna have little bevels in them. But this one actually has a smoother cut because it has that flat top raker blade. All right, so let's go over some pros. So the first thing, this thing is very affordable. It's only 62 bucks compared to 170 for the forest blade. The blade is made out of very high quality German steel. It's very, very solid. 
For the combination of the high quality carbide and the German steel, this blade has very little vibration. Actually, this blade has a very comparable performance to the Forest Woodworker blade. It's not as good as a woodworker, but you know, for $62, it's very comparable. So if you take the combination blade and you take out the other two blades, you only use one blade in the shop, so you'll have less blade changes. All right, so let's get over the cons. Um, yeah, there really isn't any. This is an awesome blade. As far as ratings go, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. This is one of the best blades I've ever used. It's not as good as the Forest Woodworker 2. That's why I deducted one point off of it. It doesn't have that smooth glass-like finish, but it does have a very smooth finish. For $62, this thing is awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you next time.